Hi, my name is Dr. Dan Lehman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at Ortho Indy, and I specialize in foot and ankle care. Kim Riley had um, problems with arthritis in her ankle and the joint below her ankle, which is called the subtalar joint. Um, she has rheumatoid arthritis, and so both of the joints were affected due to, due to the rheumatoid arthritis. Um, we had treated her for a couple of years before her surgery. Initially, I treated her with a brace to give her support for her foot. She also had some cortisone injections into the ankle joint to try to settle down her pain. And when we got to the point where the brace and the cortisone injections weren't controlling her pain anymore, we elected to proceed with the surgery. Uh, the surgery itself typically takes about an hour and a half to two hours to perform. Um, it's followed by a one to two night stay in the hospital. And then the, the hard part is having to keep your weight off of the foot for about six weeks to allow the bones to grow into the prosthesis that we put in during the surgery. Ankle replacements are a way to treat somebody who's got end-stage arthritis of their ankle, meaning that they basically have been treated conservatively for their ankle pain and they've gotten to the point where they're just having pain that's interfering with their daily activities, interfering with their life. Um, and so basically the options at that point are either to do an ankle replacement or to do an ankle fusion. In Kim's situation, because she had arthritis not only in her ankle but also in the joint below her ankle, if we did an ankle fusion she probably wouldn't have as good of a result as somebody who just had arthritis in their ankle. The subtalar arthritis would limit her mobility in her foot and she'd be prone to getting more pain in the, that joint. So that was one of the big reasons why we proceeded with the ankle replacement.